movies and TV shows have influenced so much of our culture, but maybe nothing more than what we actually wear. And joining us now to show us a few iconic looks that started on the screen, Hal Rubenstein, author of Dressing the Part, television's most stylish shows. It is such a cool book, and you can shop all of these looks using the QR code at the bottom of your screen. Yeah. Thanks for being Welcome. here. Welcome. Oh, yes. yes. Congrats I'm on the book. I'm glad you guys love the book. Now, the book is a, it was a blast to write. It's a, it's a blast to look at. It's a blast to read because it's all about... TV is our is, is our in-home stylist. Well, and, and that's the thing, because really what's happened on the screen has influenced so much of yes. what we wear. It's not seven, it's, it's not Seventh Avenue or Fashion Week, it's television. When you think about it just, just quickly, Lucy in maternity clothes, Mary Tyler Moore wearing capri, capri pants. Joan Collins and Linda Evans with the big shoulders in the, in the 80s, Don Johnson chained the way men's suits go with, with the, sh the sherbet suits and the, the t-shirts, and then Sex in the City basically telling women who are over 30 or 40, don't you dare give up on being sexy <laughs> because you are really cool. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. 100%. I love the show Bridgerton. It's one of my favorites, and the fashions are amazing, but you really think of those looks, corsets, things like that, as being in the past, but now we've modernized it. No, see, the cool, what the cool thing about what Bridgerton did is that it looks like a period drama, but Shonda Rhimes and Lynn Paolo and Ellen Morosik who've done the clothes, they were really smart in the sense that, remember, they're going to these balls and dancing to Taylor Swift and Madonna, mm -hmm. okay? Everyone on the show is ravishing. Renee, you know, Jean Renee, Renee Jean Page and uh, Philip Phoebe Dynamo, these people are just too good looking to live. You know, and I thought, but if you notice, the clothes are also not really historically accurate and they're not supposed to be. And sure enough, what this was the show that got us through the, 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 the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And what happened was there was such an unbelievable spike in a desire for, for dresses with corsets, for waist, for west coats, for Ampere waist dresses, for, for, for waistcoats. It's just everything on this show went went bananas and that and now you see it now coming to, to seventh avenue and basically this corset dressing it's not the kind of boning that people did in the 19th century but that still is designed to shape you and the whole idea is we're going to push all this in and we're going to push all that up <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about scandals olivia pope a complicated character but we know she's a trendsetter mm. and we, we got something here to look at right well, the thing about scandal that's so amazing is everyone on this show is basically rotten including Olivia Pope, <laughs> but she looks so spectacular and Kerry Washington is just brilliant in this thing. And she, the amazing thing what happened with Scandal, it was the first TV show where the, uh, the, the entire cast, Kerry Washington, Lynn Powell, the designer, basically would sit at night when the show was on on Thursday nights and live tweet, live tweet and basically break the internet. The, the original the trench coat that she wears, her signature coat, she wears it in the first episode and the last episode. It's a, it was a Tory Burch coat for 750. This one's a hell of a lot cheaper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that coat had to stay in Tory Burch's collection for the entire length of the show. Wow. Well, and we wish we could talk some more because disco isn't dead yet, but that's in the book. So make sure that Soul you get Train, the book. Soul Train is everything. <laughs> everything. It's the most important show for African Americans. Yeah. And if you ever went out in the 70s and wanted to go dancing all night, that's what you wanted to wear. And that's how you do it quickly. Yeah. Thank you, Al. <laughs> make sure to pick up a copy of Dressing the Part wherever books are sold. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.